am Vincent, a global partner of Waiki Chain, and today I'll be talking about DeFi, decentralized finance, and I'll um, explain how Waiki Chain does this. And I'm gonna show you using some Roblox boxes, and then um, you know to to make it easy to understand. And then I'm gonna uh, talk a little bit about the techniques of the decentralized finance and you know how it's done and things like that so let's get to it then all right so like i said i'm uh, the global partner and uh, you can find me on vincent uh, lionheart in um, telegram but if you're gonna pm me first uh please mention this video so yeah so let's get to the bottom line all right uh the um cdp uh works in a way that uh, it uses collateral using this um this thing uh, so let's say you have some WICC or uh, some um, Bitcoin or coming up with Ethereum or uh, maybe we'll have more uh, more collateral uh, later but uh, let's go with a WICC uh, coin of Waikiki chain with this you know, for this example so uh, you have two WICC and you want to you want to put them up to uh to the cdp the collateralized debt position system uh, you want to lock them up uh, to get wst right so you lock two wicc uh, coins and then from the system you get one um one wst so you get one wst uh, from the system cdp system which is a stable coin and you use this in your business uh you can use it um in leverage margin you know in exchanges uh, because it's a stable coin it's always equal to one us dollar right so um basically you use this any way you want and then uh one once the time comes you get some uh you pay some uh stable fees in addition to this wsc you receive you pay it back and then you pay some uh, stable fees which are converted to wgrt um, uh, which is the governing governance coin of uh, white chain and um yeah you get your collateral back uh, you know it could be wicc or bitcoin or ethereum whatever and then the cdp works like this right so basically you put your collateral uh for every two uh two dollar let's say you get one wsd and then uh, after you're done with it you return the, the money and some uh, stable fees which are called the double grt and then you get your collateral back right so it's a nice and clear system uh if the value of this goes below 150 percent instead of 200 uh there's a clearing system which clears this and then sells the cdp and then there are liquidators in, uh, uh, dealing with this so we'll get to that in the, in the later technical part uh, for the basic part this is about it it's very easy to understand right so that's basically uh the center of decentralized finance uh you use uh in other systems you use smart contracts in wiki chain you basically use the bottom layer or uh the, the wiki chain uh system uh, uh the main code so all right so uh i have this um i have this uh quote uh from jerome powell chair of the federal reserve uh, it basically says that treasure bonds, notes, and bills, they finance the U.S. government. So these are the uh, treasury securities which finance the U.S. government and they're the uh, source of the collateral within the financial system. The coll collaterals in the white kit CDP are a little bit different. These are uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and WC ICC, and uh, we have more to come as collateral. So anything actually that can be tokenized can be a collateral. It could be gold, it could be euro, and uh, these are easy to make, uh, easy to use as a collateral, right? And real estate, this is a little harder, but since it can be to tokenized, you know, it can be used as collateral. Yes, it can. All right. And um, there are a lot of stable coins, especially um, in 2018. Half of them came out last year. And, I mean, like uh, in 2018, and we have more in 2019. Uh, so this number is actually higher but most of them are based on uh, gold euro dollar and things like that so um, uh, stable coins uh, based on other things are rare but um, like I said anything tokenized can be used in a decentralized finance system 
With the DeFi, you don't need to go to a bank. You can borrow, you can lend, you can use leverage, you can do everything uh, using your computer or your phone. Um, so you don't have to rely on a bank uh, to borrow money, actually. Um, you don't have to rely on a bank to lend money or um, any, any person to lend money. You can use the decentralized uh, systems. You can use the code. Um, and a recent survey showed that uh, people uh, trust um, big tech giants like Google and Amazon more than they trust U.S. government or other governments. So uh, trusting, to, uh, trusting a code or math is actually easier. It, it's, it's even easier than uh, trusting uh, large tech companies, big tech. And so with decentralized finance, you can use math or the code to borrow money, lend money, use leverage, and you know you do this. Uh, you can use everything. And if you want big impact, uh, you should use YK Chain decentralized finance system. It's easier, it's faster, and uh, it's more secure than uh, decentralized finance systems using uh, smart contracts. Because it's basically it's using the the main uh, code of YK Chain as opposed to uh, second layer uh, smart contracts, right? So we have a three token economy for decentralized finance. Uh, the WUSD I was uh, mentioning with the, uh, with the green um, uh, green cube, and we have WICCs. Uh, remember, you are locking these two, and then we have uh, WGRTs. Which is the governance coin, right? So it should be used for governance rather than trading, but it will be traded in different exchanges, including the decentralized exchange of White Chain. And so uh, you can use WUSD for businesses or leverage or margin and things like that. So WUSD is the stable coin and it's generated when CDP is created. And WICC is the utility coin and it's used as collateral, used for utility and payments. It's used in games and bets and things like that. And WUSD can be used in games and bets also. And WGRT is the governance coin. And it's used for governing. And it's a deflationary coin, which means um, uh, its value is expected to increase in time as the CDP collateralized that position or locking of WICCs increase. Because uh, WGRT is going to be collected with stable coins and it's going to be burned every time a CDP um, you know, accomplishes its goal. Um, all right. Or even when there is uh, clearance of uh, abnormal CDPs, uh, you have WGRT burning or destroyed. Uh, so that's a large number uh, published by a w, uh, um, published by Wiki Chain, and 20 million was the target. So they reached, um, they, they got close to it. Uh, so uh, already there are a lot of, um, WICC locked in the CDP system. Uh, so this is the market cap of um, YK Chain, $23 million. Uh, that's a lot of money. And uh, they have 300,000 uh, users. Uh, that's a lot of users. And that's 100% success. And uh, the uh, daily volume of uh, WICC is changing between two and $3 million. So that's 24 hours volume, which is good, which is a high number. It's a huge number, actually. Anyways, so... The CDP process uh, is easy. You lock the WICC or BTC or ETH or whatever. In the future, maybe gold or um, real estate, whatever. And then you get WSD. Uh, you use it. And then you bring back WSD, get, get your uh, collateral back, right? All right. And um, it uses all collateralization. So uh, you lock two and you get one back. And two WICC is collateralized per WSD. If it goes below 1.5 in value, it is liquidated. So the liquidation comes and then it is liquidated. The CDP is liquidated. Um, it's called abnormal uh, CDP. And, uh, you know, it's sold uh, for arbitrage and things like that. Uh, there's a risk reserve pool. Uh, it comes in in Black Swan events. Uh, it's used to close abnormal CDPs. And 50 million USDT is locked and kept just in case for black swan events. Black swan events are like uh, floods and earthquakes and things like aliens invading Earth and things like that. You know, it's uh, very, very unusual events. Even in the case that this thing goes uh, one for, uh, one below 1.5 and goes to 1 in value. So 
let's say you put you lock two dollars and they go it went below 1.5 and it's like one dollar in value but those two adds up to one dollar and um the cd the automatic um code uses uh black swan uh, reserve to um to just uh, make sure that the system is healthy right and there's no insolvency so uh this is just in case uh we do not expect it to happen but you know it it's it's an insurance uh, so i would say so creating and closing cdp works like this a pledger creates a cdp locks assets uh, borrows wsd and um it's used for leverage margin it's used in your business wherever you want and once you close the cdp you return the borrow wsd and get your collateral back and uh another um, way to uh close the cdp is liquidators clearing the cdp right so if it goes below uh, 1.5 uh, the liquidators clear uh cdp okay uh, let's talk about uh, interest a little bit and this is the interest rate so uh, as you can see uh, this is basically getting um it's uh it's a declining curve and uh, well the, i have the formula here uh, from the white paper and um it, it's it's basically a way of calculating and making sure that that this curve happens so as you um land or borrow um more wics or uh, more wsd sorry uh the interest uh, rate uh, declines so this declining curve encourages decentralization actually so um if you uh, lend more money uh, if you put uh, more uh you know uh, if you put uh, more uh, money to lend uh, the interest rate goes down so this makes sure that more people actually lend money as opposed to just one person collecting all the interest right so and it's good for people borrowing money because if you borrow more money like um if you borrow um ten dollars it's almost twenty percent if you borrow hundred dollars it's ten percent if you borrow ten uh, one thousand dollars it's about six percent if you borrow um hundred thousand dollars it's four percent so the interest rate is declining as you borrow more money and you can use this for arbitrage if you have a lot of money you can borrow money here and then um give it to some other uh, institutions that um uh, that pay interest so you borrow money here and give it to other institutions that pay more interest and you get the difference in between uh, you know using arbitrage uh, so, uh, if you have a lot of money you pay less interest uh, this encourage, encourages people borrow money uh, to to lock in more money and also encourages people lending money uh, to make sure that there's a decentralization so not everybody collects not just one person collects all the interest uh, by um, lending all the money right so that's it's a good good mechanism uh, it's called uh, if if you are dealing with different interest rate or stable fees uh, and you getting the arbitrage it's called spread arbitrage arbitrage and you can actually um, get some money borrow some money from um, cdp white chain cdp and uh, i don't know give it to uh, countries where you have where they they have higher higher interest so you collect interest from these uh mechanisms or countries or whatever you want to call it and then um paid interest in white chain or the stable pay fees in white chain and then um you make a lot of money you make the profit right so okay we're coming to the end so let's review some concepts so there are three major uh, major events in cdp pledging redeeming and liquidating so pledging is uh locking your um, assets redeeming is uh putting back the uh, stable uh coin and then getting your uh, your uh, assets back and liquidating is if you if this goes in value right it's liquidating and WGRT buyback and burn, uh, it happens in WSD generation. So when you first pledge uh, and uh, WSD is generated and you pay stable fees and then WSD, uh, WGRT buyback and burn happens or if it's liquidated, right? And the result is a deflationary coin, WGRT. And you can still uh, join the private sale uh, or uh, of uh, WGRT and there's a uh, there's some bonus or you can uh purchase some wgrt as retail in um 
in uh, DEX, in our uh, decentralized exchange, dex.ykechain.com. Uh, I'm going to have the link at the end. And uh, a governor is called, uh, governors are WGRT holders. They obtain correspondent rights, responsibilities, and obligations in the system. And decentralized Oracle, uh, it basically feeds prices of WICC, BTC, ETH, and WGRT in the secondary market. So um, these are basically the, the decentralized Oracle is basically um, uh, providing prices for different assets. Um, we don't, I don't think we have um, Oracle uh, providing prices for, um, let's say, real estate or gold and things like that. But uh, I think there is a possibility that we can talk to a bank or uh, some uh, centralized Oracle to provide prices for oil if like, we use oil as, as, an, as an asset. Uh, to be locked in the system so and liquidators say w uh, usd they clear their abnormal cdps and maintain stability of the system and the stable fees interest will decrease uh, decrease exponentially with the pledged uh, wsd amount so if you if you pledge more money uh, if you lock more money the stable fees decreases remember the declining curve right so uh, this is the uh, the wallet wicc.me slash turkey you can download this goes this uh, goes directly to the google play um Yiki times download page and you can also get this as an ios uh, or if you have an apple phone or something and this is the this is for pc uh, chrome extension and this is my um earlier video explaining how to how to get the uh, wallet on pc and here are the exchanges and um cdp of uh, yk chain so at the time, the largest exchanges it, it is on is uh, Huobi and Gateio. If you are Korean, you can use Bitham also. And there are more exchanges, but they are slowly switching to uh, the mainnet. All right. And um, you can use uh, dex.ykechain.com to convert uh, WSD to, um, uh, you know, anything. WGRT, WSD, and WICC. You can convert each other. And you can use the cdp.ykechain.com. It's online and it's working to uh, pledge or redeem or whatever you want. Uh, you can do it right now. And there are people doing it because um, it's in meetings. And uh, this is the uh, decentralized finance uh, telegram group, a business, PR. Uh, you know, this is a Twitter account, YouTube, uh, Facebook. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, uh, you can find me on telegram. Uh, or in this uh, telegram group, all right? Uh, thank you very much, and um, see you in the next video.